Hey y'all, welcome to another pour video. Um, the painting in today's video, I wasn't really super happy with the outcome of it. Um, I think the composition is kind of off, but I've discovered from watching other YouTubers that uh, their failures are equally interesting to watch. I think it just makes me feel kind of better about myself when <laughs> I have failures while I'm paint painting as well. Um, so I decided to post this video of my uh, flip and drag that I'm not super happy with. I got some good cells. Um, I also am using a couple of uh, colors that are uh, the golden fluid acrylic paints. Um, so it kind of stepped it up a notch with super expensive paints. Um, I'm experimenting with these more expensive paints because I'm thinking about a commission piece that I'm supposed to be doing. So I just wanted to see whether or not it was worth it to buy the more expensive paints. And uh, lo and behold, it is. Uh, the paints are way more vibrant and uh, I guess more pigmented, but the difference is noticeable so if you're planning on selling your work I highly recommend going with the more expensive paints. Um, I didn't put enough white on as you can see um, throughout the video there's a lot of me messing around with the white. I should have really just put way more white on than I did. Um, I went and looked at the dried painting this morning and the white is kind of funny looking now, so I'm likely going to have to put another layer of white on if I even keep this painting. I haven't decided whether or not I'm keeping it yet. I got some really nice lacing though of the pink on that right hand side there. I think I might have uh, overdone the straw blowing on this one a little bit. This uh, painting also um, it absolutely covered uh, me in paint. I got it all over my feet. It's all over my designated workspace at the moment. Um, these larger paintings are just a really big challenge for me. I mean, the 12 by 12s, um, I usually am successful enough with them, but as soon as you start going up to the bigger sizes, it's pretty difficult. So I kept on adding a little bit here and there, trying to add some accents, and I was aware at this point that the, the composition wasn't really working all that well. Um, but it's too late to turn back at this point. I was hoping that if I messed it around with it enough, uh, I could save the painting. And I wasn't about to do another swipe. Um, I did a swipe uh, the day before, and I was uh, pretty unhappy with the results of that. It, it was just way too busy for me. I mean, swipes are okay for smaller canvases, but I find with like a big canvas, it's just a little too much. You need some just negative space. I also cut out a big portion of this where I kept on messing around with the white, in case if you're wondering why. It, it suddenly looked a little bit better. I highly recommend, though, that you put way more white on uh, if you're doing these negative space pours. And I tried to uh, balance out the composition somewhat by pouring that corner there. but. Uh, it didn't really uh, work out that well, mainly because I didn't have enough white on the on the painting, and uh, it just ended up looking a little weird. So overall, I think that the composition of this painting is somewhat lackluster. Um, 
However, I did get some good cells and some good lacing, as you're about to see in my close-up wrapping up portion of the video. Um, I'm newly in love with these you know, golden fluid acrylic paints, uh, which isn't good because they're way more expensive and I have like a serious pouring addiction. But now that I've used them, I don't think that I'm going to be able to go back to the other ones. So I hope you liked my video. If you did, please remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.